In 1841, Isambard Kingdom Brunel finished work on Bristol's first railway station. He intended it to be an international transport hub of its day, connecting the city to London through the Great Western Railway. From there, passengers were meant to take the transatlantic ships he had designed from Bristol's docks onwards to New York and further afield. Today, the building symbolises how Brunel used steam and steel to industrialise the country. Now I've come to Brunel's old station, which is once again filled with engineers, this time modern day computer engineers. It's a home of Set Squared, an incubator of tech startups. And what's going on inside may point to the future of British industry. Nick Sturge is director of Set Squared. He says they help high growth startups by offering them access to office space, business advice, and mentoring. Set Squared is a partnership between five uh, research intensive universities in southern England, Bath, Bristol, Exeter, Southampton and Surrey, and collaborating on the enterprise agenda, which is research commercialisation, so taking research out of the university into, into the economy, student enterprise, and the bit that we do here, which is business incubation. So the Set Squared Centre in Bristol is a classic business incubator. We take in early stage, high tech, high growth businesses, some of whom will have come from the university, but most don't. One of the companies at Set Squared is Ultra Haptics. Tom Carter, its co-founder, is trying to transform the project he first began at Bristol University into a technology company. So at Ultra Haptics, we've developed a technology that allows you to feel without touching. So we use ultrasound to create vibrations on your hands so you can feel um, what you're doing when you gesture or interact with virtual objects. So we use um, ultrasound from a small array of speakers. Uh, so we have uh, a small collection of ultrasound speakers and we focus the sound waves to a particular point or into a shape. Uh, and at that point, the sound waves add together and you get a strong pressure difference and that's enough to slightly press on your skin and then we use that to create the vibrations and we can form it into different shapes or create different vibrations to create different feelings and sensations and textures. Moving out of the university and into Set Squared, you it sort of enables you to do that. You set up a former company, you sit, sit in Set Squared, you have office space, you have support and then you're able to engage with customers as a real company. For decades Bristol has been a base for leading microelectronics companies. This experience in working with computer chips is a key strength being utilised by the city's fledgling tech groups. Recent research suggests 62,000 people are employed in digital jobs in the area, seeing a 65% increase in tech companies being incorporated between 2010 and 2013. Henry Nurser is the chief executive of Blue Wireless. He's worked for decades at local microchip companies, including ST Microelectronics, a chip maker that is among the best in the world. His company has developed a microchip that helps to solve mobile connectivity issues. What Bristol has done is it's got an experienced um, pool of resources and you've got people with 20 odd years of experience who know, who've seen a niche in the market, understand that they can do something better than anybody out there and they're willing to put a year or so of uh, uh, sweat equity into the, the pool to de-risk de the project. Now one of the areas that's always a challenge is then getting the additional funding on top of that and um, I think we've been able to do that quite well via angel networks. EIS has been a godsend for a lot of small companies um, but you know, then getting um, bigger chunks of money down the line. Soon nascent digital companies will need to compete against giants from Silicon Valley and Asia. Only then will we know whether Britain's new tech economy will succeed or fail. Murad Ahmed, Financial Times, Bristol.